today's project is to make this <coughs> soft jaw boring ring <coughs> to this piece of steel. I hope I can make it uh, 20 centimeters or 200 millimeters. It's about 8 inches, I guess, in diameter. So I cut here because this was a scrap I got for free. So we'll uh, see how it goes. And I'll cut the outside on the pacemaker and we'll make these grooves here. Or slots rather, and we'll make those on the mesac. Here are the coordinates and for the grooves. I laid out the center between the cut line over there and the edge here and there. So, and I center punched a point in the middle, and now I have lined up the center punched hole with the tailstock center. So, I guess we're about ready to try to get this piece around.
bandsaw to make it a little bit easier for myself. I've got about two millimeters to grip onto here, so I'll take it a little bit easy, I think. Thing is finished now. I didn't show cutting these small parts here because it would be very difficult to make any usable video inside the mesak. So anyway, this is the cap, 24 millimeters in diameter, like so, and um, it's recessed for M6 capad screws. I don't know if you can see it really well. And this is the other side. <coughs> you can see how it sits here. This end go into the holes in the soft jaws. This is sandwiched between this and the jaws. This part here, you can see it has a radius there and there goes in like so, or from the other side. So, you just put it in like so. And you put this on top. Should probably have turned down the head so these socket head cap screws a little bit, but uh, it seems to work. And then you just tighten it up, and this is how it sits when it's on the jaws. You can see it's not so easy to take up there. And then you just pressurize the jaws and you can bore the inside of the soft jaws. <laughs> 